Have you ever wanted to teach jazz improvisation before, but lack the time, training, or experience? Do you have students that want to learn how to improvise, or would you like to introduce all of your students to jazz improvisation? I'm Jim Snydero, and I'd like to talk to you just a little bit today about our jazz improvisation course and ways of integrating it into a jazz band rehearsal. I think it's safe to say that improvisation is at the core of jazz, big band or otherwise. The problem is, is that most educators teaching grades 8 to 12 lack little, if any, experience in teaching jazz. Combine that with limited rehearsal time and virtually no space on a schedule for a dedicated improvisation course, and we come to our current situation. Jazz is simply not being taught, I should say jazz improvisation, is simply not being taught to kids grades 8 through 12, yet they're expected to improvise in jazz band. To address this problem, the Jazz Conception Company has come up with a course that can be studied outside of the classroom. Students can study on any computer online, but if they have an iPad, they can download the course and study the content without the internet. I'm sure that many of you are familiar with the concept of hybrid learning. As applied to our course, it means that students are going to study video lessons, video play-alongs, e-books, and historic performances out of the classroom, then practice the content, then when they come into the classroom, into the rehearsal, the teacher is going to integrate the content in the big band rehearsal. So say that you would like your students to become more familiar with scales that are used in improvisation. Lesson number two is about essential scales. So they would listen to my explanation about why and how scales work in the context of improvisation. Next, they would be able to listen, and this is very important, they would be able to listen to historic listening examples and hear how great artists like Miles Davis, John Coltrane, Sonny Rollins, the greatest of all time, use scales when they improvise, and also they can start to get a feeling for phrasing and articulation. The only way to really get that is by listening to greats, and we have these listening examples integrated right in the course. The next thing is, is that you can use, uh, they can use the examples from the lesson that are contained in an ebook, and they can select their key so that they can see it in their key when they're practicing. So they would practice this music as they would any other kind of music. Now they can take what they've learned and practice it along with the play-alongs. And the play-alongs, I have to say, are really excellent. It's one of the finest rhythm sections in the world. And by the way, it's a great thing for your rhythm section to listen to, too. If they try to duplicate and mimic what those guys are doing on the recording, they're going to sound more authentic. And finally, there's so much material in the scale book, exercises, patterns, ideas, more concepts, more advanced concepts, I should say, about beast bebop scales and how masters use patterns when they're improvising. All of this material works together and kind of creates, a, uh, a, I guess I would say, a synergy with the content. And then they would be able to apply that when they go into the big band rehearsal. So in the next segment, we're going to talk about one lesson and more specifically about how the content can be integrated in rehearsal.